trade shows, what happens if you do not use SEO? Okay, so we, we've uh, worked with and discussed SEO to a number of companies that have traditionally used trade shows to generate their sales. Like they have a product and every year they go to different trade shows, either local or, or regional or statewide or countrywide. And they've always been able to generate a lot of sales through that. That was their primary form of marketing. But they're all finding that, uh, or a very large percentage of them are finding that their sales from those trade shows are drying up. Why? Well, if you think about it, it's quite simple. Um, two reasons. It's expensive to go to a trade show as a visitor. It's time consuming. You can actually go to trade shows now online without leaving your office or your home. And you can talk to the vendors online and you can do all that without leaving. So those people are not going to the trade show anymore. The other thing is, is that, um, you know, the amount of people uh, or, or, or the actual cost of going to trade shows is going up because transportation costs go up, the price of booths go up, the rental go up, the number of companies going to the trade show is decreasing so they're charging each company that does go more money so that they can still make more money so it's an ever ever losing battle and it's getting worse and worse and worse I told one company it's like being in the middle of a lake you're in a rowboat and there's a hole in the lake and the lake has no input there's nothing coming in there's just water flowing out of the lake don't wait till there's no water in the lake yeah to realize true. that start investing a little bit of money into your SEO and build it up over time use it as as a secondary form and work on increasing your search engine visibility it doesn't happen overnight it doesn't appear magically and this is the thing uh, there is no real magic to SEO if you use all logic like just look at it logically okay so if somebody is looking for what you have to offer would you like to them to find you yes, yes you would of course right how are you gonna do that well the one of the ways is either pay-per-click Google AdWords or Bing or you can get found organically so one way you're gonna spend money or or actually the other so either way you can spend money on PPC PPC is a little bit more like conventional advertising but on average the cost of PPC is approximately 10 times the cost of SEO after a period of about a year no kidding yeah yes uh, we have clients that are spending fifteen hundred dollars a month on their SEO and fifteen thousand dollars a month on their PPC and we're not talking about all big companies either uh, one company is an appliance repair company in Toronto they spend well over fifteen thousand dollars a month on their on their paid advertising and fifteen hundred dollars a month but you can actually get more traffic their traffic volumes is almost five times as great from their SEO as it is from their PPC but the difference is they still make money from their paid advertising so why stop it there's no Absolutely. reason of not spending the 15,000 because they make money from it but it shows the value of one compared to the other one sure yeah and it's most important to get that tilt to ring too right I mean that's the thing you've got to yeah. make profit and if you're not making yeah. profit you can't even afford to SEO yeah.